Good morning. Today we will be starting with lesson 7 protecting plants and animals. In this lesson we will be talking about interdependence between plants and animals and how human beings are dependent on both plants and animals. Let us first understand the classification of animals. Based on eating habits, animals can be classified into herbivore, carnivore, omnivore and decomposers. Let us understand each of these categories in detail. Herbivore. Herbivores are those animals that eat only plants and plant products like a cow, deer and a zebra. They eat only plants or plant products. The next is a carnivore. Carnivores are those animals that eat only flesh of other animals like a lion, tiger and some birds like vultures. They eat only flesh of other animals. The next in this category is an omnivore. Omnivores are those animals that eat both plants and flesh of other animals like a cat and even we human beings. The last is a decomposer. Decomposers are those organisms that feed on dead plants and animals like a bacteria. So based on their eating habits, animals can be grouped into herbivore, carnivore, omnivore or a decomposer. So we can say that animals are dependent on plants for their food directly or indirectly. Now you may say that a lion does not eat a plant directly. So it is not dependent on plants? No, that's not right. Because a lion is going to eat a zebra which in turn eats a plant. So the lion is dependent on plants indirectly for its food. This process of eating one organism and being eaten by another is known as a food chain. In the food chain, the plant is the producer or the plant is that organism which is producing the food. This food produced by plants is eaten up by various other animals or organisms. The organism that eats the plant directly is the primary consumer. Why consumer? Because it is consuming the food which is made by the plant. So the primary consumer will always be a herbivore. This herbivore, this primary consumer will then be eaten up by a secondary consumer which as you see in this is a frog. This frog or secondary consumer is eaten up by the tertiary consumer and so on till it reaches the final consumer. This final consumer will always be a carnivore as in this case a hawk. When this carnivore dies, it is decomposed by organisms which are decomposers which release the minerals back into the soil thus completing the food chain. So in this food chain, the grass is the producer, the grasshopper is the primary consumer, frog the secondary consumer, snake the tertiary consumer and hawk the final consumer which when dies is decomposed by decomposers. So we can say that animals are dependent on plants majorly for food. How else are animals dependent on plants? Animals depend on plants for shelter that is you must have heard of many birds making nests on trees. Even animals like monkeys, they live on trees. And lastly for oxygen. Oxygen is the gas that is released by plants during photosynthesis. This gas is used by all living beings for breathing. So, how are animals dependent on plants? For food, for shelter and for oxygen. What about human beings? We too are dependent on plants for food for oxygen and for many other things like medicines and timber. Medicines, certain plants have medicinal values. These plants are used by us to cure various diseases. And timber 
is the wood we get from plants for making our homes and furniture. So human beings are dependent on plants for food, for medicines, for timber and for oxygen. At the same time, plants too are dependent on animals. For what? Majorly for the gas carbon dioxide. All animals, all living beings, they while breathing give out a gas known as carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is used by plants for photosynthesis. Then for seed dispersal. As we've studied in lesson 3, plants are dependent on animals for dispersing their seeds. Pollination, which is the transfer of pollen grains from one flower to another, is done by certain insects like honeybees and butterflies. So the plants are dependent on animals and at the same time animals are dependent on plants, maintaining an ecological balance in the environment. Thank you.